Okay, exercise three now. So in one and two, we use referencing of simple objects and also referencing with human form. Now we're gonna add another component to that in exercise three and four. So this exercise, number three, we're gonna introduce you to scaling. And so we're gonna set, that's another way to do referencing, but this time we're actually gonna have set units that will be a little bit different for each figure that we have. But one thing that will remain constant is that our eye line, our eye level, which will also in this case be the same as the horizon line, since we'll be either, either in one point or two point, that will remain now at a four foot elevation. Okay, so that's gonna be the difference. So wherever we're gonna be looking at, our eyes will be locked into, our viewer into the image will be at a four foot elevation. All right, so let's start this exercise. Cut. Okay, filming in five, four, three, two. Okay, to start, we're going to set in the horizon line and also the eye line. Sharpen up the pencil here, we did that, done that. So we'll come across here, I've got the same 14 by 17 inch piece of paper, you see that, and I'll do the best I can to keep my head out of the way for the most part. Sometimes I'll just have to have it in there, so just bear with me. All right, so we've got our 14 inch by 17 inch piece of paper. We establish now our eye line, and I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna draw an eye uh, for the eye line for now. I don't wanna confuse you a little bit later on. So here's a little eye, that, that signals eye line. It's also the horizon line, okay? eye line, eye level, and also our horizon line since we're located where we're using one and two point perspective right now. Okay, so that means that our eye is locked in. Now, the elevation, EL, that's why I wanted to draw the eye over there. I'm gonna put elevation EL and V. I think that'll also help. So the elevation now is going to be four feet. So let's talk about that for a moment. So anywhere that we look out on our picture, picture plane here, sky plane up here, right, ground plane down below, we're always locked in now at four feet, no matter where we look. So if we have a six foot tall figure, that figure is going to be two foot taller at our locked in four foot elevation. Same thing with somebody shorter, etc. So this is gonna take a little bit more diligence on your part in terms of measuring and finding appropriate units for each individual figure that we're going to do, and I'll show you how to do that, um, to make sure that wherever they are located, that four feet of elevation is kept consistent within your perspective system. Okay, well, so what does that mean and how do we do that? Well, we're gonna do five figures. We're gonna do, there'll be Star Wars figures and you can do any figure that you want. You don't have to draw my Star Wars figures. I thought I would just use that as a consistent theme throughout the lectures just to make it fun for me and interesting for anybody who likes Star Wars. If you don't, bear, just bear with me and draw whatever you want. If you like Downton Abbey, draw those figures. If you like Star Trek, draw those figures. If you like your favorite uh, football team, you know, you know, <clears throat> draw those figures. And I'm talking about international football, not American football. Draw those figures or vice versa. So I think you get the idea. The point is to teach your perspective. All right, so let's start out drawing our first figure. And I'm gonna start out with a six foot figure. And I'm going to say that the figure will stand on the ground about right here. So that figure will be right there. And so I'm just gonna start by drawing a straight line up. Now, where that figure lands up here, I don't know yet. I do know this, is that this is right here, this is four feet of elevation. 
right there. Okay, so I do know that. That's important. All right. So what I can say then is that the figure, and this is going to be Bubba Fett, the figure is standing, the feet are standing right there on that line. And from here to our eye line, our horizon line, and also our elevation is four feet. Now what I can do is set out to uh, create measurement lines to give us a sense of proportion measurement. So what I need now is I need four marks to show me that I have four units of elevation to our horizon line or our elevation line. Okay, well how do I do that? Well, you can measure, and, and I, didn't, I didn't measure in an exact distance because I didn't want it to be so obvious. We're going to have to do the work ourselves. So what we need to do is find just half of this line whatever it is in your drawing. Mine is one, two, three, four, and three quarters tall. So what I'll do is I'll make mine then one, two, and then one, two, three eighths will give me halfway through. So whatever your measurement is from feet to, or the bottom of this line to your four feet elevation, you need four equal measurements. So there's my halfway line right in through there. Now what we can do is find the half between that. And so I'm just going to eyeball it to say about right there. Now watch this. Now I can take a piece of scratch paper. So let me grab a piece of scratch paper. So I've got my piece of scratch paper. And what I want to do is just line it up here and say, OK, here's my mark at the bottom. Here's one unit mark, here's two unit marks, and I can replace that. Come on top into here. Here's another marked unit right there, so I can put that mark there. And now I've got four equal units. So each one of these units equals one foot. There's one foot, there's two foot, there's three feet, there's four feet right there, and that gives me the elevation at four feet. Now we have a problem, because Bubba Fett is six foot tall. So I'm going to put out over here that we want Boba, B-O-B-A, Fett, F-E-T-T, is six feet tall. So no matter what figure you're using, could be anybody, make them at this one six feet tall. All right, so we need six feet over here, so we need two incremental measurements left. All right, so we can take these two marks here, maybe let's make sure that you can really see these here, here, and here. So I need two more. I've got four, there's five, and there's six right there. So now I can come across, I'll take my T-square. For accuracy, I'll slide it up here, and I'll make a mark. And right there is going to be the height of Boba Fett right here at six feet tall right in through there. So we know he's six feet tall because we've established now a scale with an elevation of four feet tall. All right? So this is four, this is five, and the height of Bubba Fett right in through there is six feet tall. All right, let's do another figure. <clears throat> And we're going to do another figure, and, and I'm going to draw on these in a moment. I want to do a couple, and then I'll cut, and I'll draw them in really quickly, and we'll just, they'll just pop up really quickly, and you can see that so we can expedite our time. But I want to do a few more to show you how this works, and then I'll, I'll pop up what I've drawn in through there, and then we'll do the last uh, couple of figures. We're going to do five uh, total. All right, so now what I want is to put Chewbacca out here. Now, Chewbacca is seven feet five inches tall. So we've got an elevation of four feet out here. But I want Chewbacca greater in the distance. Boba Fett's going to be closer, so I want Chewbacca greater in the distance. So remember from um, our, our lecture on how to see, figures that are further away are going to be higher up also in the composition. So we're going to put him further away and I'm going to set where I want to place him about right here. So that's where that dot, that strong mark that I make, you can draw a lot lighter. I've got to show, make this show up in the camera. So I'm, this is where his feet are going to be. And then after that, I'm just going to draw a, 
arbitrary line coming up, really tall. Now he may he we won't be this tall, I guarantee you, because he's further away. All right, so let's figure out what Chewbacca is going to be now. So I'm just going to put here Chewy for short. Remember, he's seven feet five inches tall. So he's almost he's really seven and a half feet. So let's figure him out. So we know that our elevation here is four feet, right? So we need four incremental marks to get us there. Well, you can eyeball it. About right there is halfway, right? So that's two, one, two. Now we need to half the other two here in here. You can really get scientific by measuring these out, but I want to show you that you can just eyeball. Now, if you're really bad at eyeballing, then you want to measure that out more appropriately. Now, we could have set, you could have drawn your line up when we started our scaling at four feet. You could have come down and made one inch your scale. I didn't do that because I wanted to show you how you can be a little bit more arbitrary and more visually um, more controlling to your aesthetic rather than having scale control you so much. Remember, perspective is a very much a creative tool and I want to make sure that we always emphasize that in these lectures. Now, I've got four feet of elevation here. I've got one, right? Two, three, right, and four. Now I need seven feet, five inches. So I need three more increments plus about a half more. So let's line up our line. It almost lines up nicely, but not quite with my blue lines here. So there's one, and there's two, and there's another, and there's three. So now I can add them on top of our elevation line, right? Right through there. I'll move my hand out of the way so you can see that. Okay, there we go. And I'll make a mark on our uh, vertical line. So there's five, there's six, and there's seven. So let me say five, six and seven. Now I've got a problem, right? We need seven foot five inches. So about half of that. So we need about half of that is about right there plus just a little bit more. Well, now wait a minute. I don't I'm gonna mess up myself, right? I always have to think through. So half of that is six inches. So we need half of that and then minus one. So I have to double check myself too. So if I make ever make any big errors, you'll never know out there because I'll cut it out of the video. So just just FYI, I make errors too. We all make errors. This is complicated stuff. So now that is right there. That is seven feet five inches tall right there for Chewbacca. So let's put him down on the ground. Let's get a nice strong line so we can see. And let's recount this to make sure we've got it. So we've got one unit, two, three, four. There's our elevation five, six, seven, and half of that is seven feet, five, and one down, five inches. Seven feet, six inches would be seven and a half feet. So their Chewbacca is at seven feet, five inches. Look how smaller he is. Even though he's taller than Boba Fett, if we brought him forward, right, in perspective, what's going to happen? He's going to be six, seven. He's going to be seven about right here. In height, as he should be, because he's a foot, almost a foot and a half taller than um, than Chewbacca. Let's actually go ahead. You know what? Let's go ahead and set them all in, and I'll come back and draw these in. I think that'll be easier too as well. The next one we're going to do is just a common droid, and he's going to be five feet tall, and we're going to put him over here. But we're going to put him closest to us because he'll be the lowest. His ground line where he touches the ground, where the where his droid feet touch the ground, will be closest to us in any, in any composition. But will he actually be taller than Boba Fett? I don't know. We'll see. We'll put him... Now, Boba Fett bisects. He comes all the way across this way, right? So there is where his ground line is. So right now, he's closer than Chewbacca. So we're going to set our droid a little bit closer in. Let's, let's put him about right here. Okay, so I'll make a nice mark, a tick there. Okay, right there. And I'm going to draw, you should probably probably already have this down, so we want him at five feet. So I'm going to draw a vertical line up, about right there all the way up. Okay, and we'll, we're going to call this one just a droid. Okay, and he's going to be five 
five feet tall. Okay, five feet. All right, so now we need four marks, four, four equal units of measure to get us to our horizon line or our elevation line. Remember, they're one and the same. Elevation, eye line, and horizon line right now are locked in. So look, we need four units, so half of that. Now, if you happen to find that the measurement is close to equal, that really, that really helps. Sometimes I can do it that way. This one is five and a half, so that would make half of five is two and a half plus a quarter. So one, two and a half plus a quarter, that'll give me halfway through. Whatever yours is, you need, you need your marks. You need four equal units. So I can eyeball this one, put my next equal unit there, and my next equal unit looks pretty good right there, right? So let me just get out of the way. You can see you can see our marks. We got our marks in them. So that's one, two, three, four, and we need one more unit of measure to get to five. All right, so now we take our trusty little piece of paper as a guide, and I'll line it up right in through here. It almost touches these blue lines, but not quite. There and there, and we'll just transfer that unit of measure up to our vertical line, which is our height line for our droid right there. And right there is our fifth unit. So that is five feet tall, and so I'll bring a line over. Now what do you notice? This is interesting. This is why it works and why perspective works, okay? So there's the height of what will be our droid. He's at five feet tall, okay? But he's in front of Boba Fett by a little bit, but not by a full foot. So he's still going to be show, shorter than Boba Fett. If we bring his head over to there, he'll be shorter by that much, which is pretty interesting, which it's by about a half of half of foot, okay? So again, we can play around with depth, depth and scaling too as well. Now the last figure I want to put in is BB-8, the new little, little um, exciting and uh, very personality rich charming um, BB-8 droid, very simple to draw, and that droid is only two feet, two feet tall. Now we're not even going to get up to our four feet of elevation. So he's going to be shorter, always shorter. He'll never be taller than our elevation. Why? Because that's where our eyes are at, at four feet. We're only at four feet tall. Now if we're six feet tall, what's going on? if we're looking through here, that we may be sitting down. We, may, we might be kneeling on one knee or two knees or sitting down, uh, if you're really tall, on your buttock looking out. But we're at four, four feet. We could be in, in, a, in a vehicle too as well. But our eyes are locked in at four feet. And remember, we're not looking up and we're not looking down because we're not in three points. So we're locked in. All right, so where do we want BB-8 to be on the ground? Let's say, we want him further away than the droid, but closer than Chewbacca. Let's put him about right, oh, let's say here. So I'll make a strong line so you can see it uh, there. So that's where he's BB-8 is going to be standing on the ground. So I'll make a little title for him. So we'll put BB-8. And BB-8, I looked it up, and he's about two feet, two feet tall. So two units tall. And so what we need now is a line, just a straight line coming up, and we'll need it to the, really just to the horizon line. I'll make it go a little further than that, our elevation line. All right, so what we need now is to find, we'll just find our four units up. Halfway looks to be about right there, doesn't it? There's half, and half is two, right? If he's two, two units tall, there's his height. So we have one unit, Actually, really, this is two units, and this is four units, because we could half that and half that. So all we need is one mark halfway, and we're good to go. So BB-8 will be that tall there, and BB-8 will be that, where his bot, where his, the bottom part of that ball that it makes up the bigger part of his body will rest right in through there. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got scale units for our figures. And what I'm going to do now is go back, draw, rough these figures in a little bit so you can see how they relate 
And then we'll move on to exercise four, which will be using scale and then to use that scale and in reference figures all over. So, all right, so let me come back and we'll take a look at how our figures, Boba Fett, Chewie, the, uh, the common droid, and BB-8 fall into our scaling. I'll be right back. Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna lay in uh, the Boba Fett figure a little bit. I'm just gonna gesture it in and then I'll finish it off camera, but to, just to show you how scaling will work. Now we've gotta fit him in from head to toe. So the top line here, bottom line here. And so we kinda of know, we, we not even kinda of know, we do know how we can fit him in. So if I'm gonna gesture him in from head to toe, we'll take his head in through here. We'll take his shoulders a little bit. Now he's not completely standing straight up and I'm just using photo reference that I found online just to, just to help facilitate this and make it a little bit quicker. So we've got his reference in here. <clears throat> of course his helmet will be about right. That classic sort of Boba Fett helmet will be right in through there. So we're just gonna give a rough gesture. <clears throat> and then the pelvic region about right in through here. And then knees, legs, roughly right in through this area and then down and through. So my job is to kind of get him located, you know, his, at least his, especially his front foot right in through here at, at six, at six feet, even though he's not quite standing up straight, that the point is to get as pretty accurate. And then of course, later on, you can reference these two. All right. So there is Boba Fett in through here at, six feet tall, just a rough land to push him in. And I'll clean it up in a moment. So let's go on now to Chewbacca's figure. All right, now laying in Chewbacca, so remember he's seven foot five inches. And so we've got to remember to put him in completely. So his head goes here and then the feet uh, end here. So his height is there. So it's a complete seven foot five inch accurate height line using scale and perspective. So we've got his Head in through here, and then his shoulders all rough in and gesture in, and through arms coming down, waist, legs, which are gonna start up high, and he's gonna end about right in through, in through there. So this is kind of this rough gesture, and I'll clean that uh, up in a moment off camera, and I'll bring this to a conclusion really quickly to show you how uh, a more cleaner, still a rough, but a cleaner version of this can be applied. All right, so now let's go on to our droid. He'll fit in at five feet. So we'll start to place him in through here. It's just one of those common droids <clears throat> that we've seen in the in the um, video uh, one, two, and three series of, of Star Wars. So we'll have him at about five feet tall, even though he might be taller. And so his head's in through here. This kind of line of being torso machine thing he's got is in through here, arms in through there, coming over, and then we'll push his little mechanical pelvis with one leg coming down and over through here, and all the way over sitting down to the ground there. So the, so the idea is to be pretty accurate to, to the scale and keep it pretty close to where it's where you want it and need it, right in through there and over. And so we've got our gesture of our common droid laid in at five feet. So even though he's closer to us in perspective, he's still gonna wind up being a little bit shorter than uh, our Boba Fett because Boba Fett's pushed back a little bit, but he's also taller, he's six feet. He's a foot taller than our uh, droid here. And then lastly, let's lay in BB-8 over here. So we have BB-8 at only two feet tall, so he's pretty tiny. And so the majority of BB-8 is just a sphere or a ball. So we'll have him laying down in through here where he's not laying down, but uh, sitting, sitting down on the ground right in through there. And then we'll just put his almost spherical head. It's kind of a, a, a shell shape, ping pong ball shell shape about right in through here. So he'll be located roughly about right in through there. And so now we've got all, all of our main characters really, really roughly gestured in. And now let's go back and let me finalize these by rubbing these in a little bit. And then um, we'll conclude this exercise, exercise number three, and then we'll go on to four. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the roughed in now Bubba Fett character about, again, six feet tall. So from just a real simple rough, Rough and nothing detailed or, or too crazy. 
just to get the idea across. You can do yours much more detailed to your heart's content, but I'm on a time commitment here. So I gotta keep moving. So we're doing little rough ends here. So we've got, again, now the scale of Boba Fett from a, roughly the height line from the head to the toe, now it's six feet tall. And our elevation, remember, is, is at four feet. So four feet, you know, all over. Just remember that where our eye level is, what we're looking at. So where the audience, whoever the audience is, it could be another figure, whatever, where our eye is locked in at four feet elevation. Okay. So let's go on and, and I'll rough in a little bit more fully Chewbacca. So now we've got Chewbacca roughed in more cleanly or a little, little better. We keep it pretty rough just for for time's sake. You don't have to go crazy unless you want to. So now he's at seven feet, five inches tall here. And then obviously going back into perspective, if we bring, again, if we bring him forward, he's still gonna be taller than Boba Fett. So if we bring Chewbacca up to Boba Fett's ground line, right in through here, he will be much taller than by a foot and a, almost a half. So by the given units that we have here. His pelvic region right above here, his waist region, will still be at the four foot high elevation because that's where we're at for four feet. So, well, actually it might be a little bit higher than that. But I think it's important to know that what we're looking at, again, in terms of scale, you're gonna see nice changes. But again, we referenced our figures even more accurately. Before we just, we just threw out a concept without scaling, but now we have some really accurate measurements to go along with our referencing too. Okay, so we've got now Chewbacca out here pretty far away at seven feet, five inches, and we found him with, with our scaling. All right, let's go on to our common droid, battle droid. Okay, just finishing up now our little common battle uh, droid in here, so roughing him, giving him a little bit, a little bit more expression to make him a little bit clear. So we can see him, he's about, five, I'm gonna call him out five feet. He may be a little bit taller in the movies, but just for educational purposes, we'll call him five feet and we'll put him again about right here. So finishing him up now, he's roughly on our five foot ground line here and his height line where his head is be where we've got him located. Now remember, we've got him now in front of Boba Fett, right? Okay, so he's actually closest to, to us. He's actually the closest figure in our composition. We have one, two, three, four figures, with Chewbacca being the furthest away, then BB-8 next, then Boba Fett, and then closest to us is our little common battle droid here, but he doesn't necessarily register as the tallest. He's almost, if you quite frankly, just a little bit taller than Chewbacca. Chewbacca is two and a half feet taller than our battle droid. So that's where our scale works. And you can set it in any figure you really want to, as long as you're calling whatever you're calling your four foot elevation. And that's part of the point of our demonstration. So let's go on now. I'll do our last one. We'll just, uh, I'll show you this together. And I'll just do BB-8 since it's pretty, pretty quick and pretty simple. We'll just do them quick, fast and nasty here. So basically just a kind of a circle or a ball for us his body just to clean him up just a little bit rough rough him in these don't have to be completely you know finished some i'll do more finished than others but i don't want to burn too much valuable time in the videos the point is to use again use perspective and then you can really get into final drawings where you're using that you know really 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 uh deeply in terms of uh, detail etc and so on so um okay so let's Let's move it here, so his little head coming over and through here, right through there, there we go. And we'll have his little eye source and through there and probably some other other accoutrement there and a little antenna come up. I'll just use a couple straight lines to make that work for us. And there we go, we have BB-8 roughed in. And remember, he's sitting right there where he rolls around and then the end of his head is here. So that's his true height line right there at two units tall, right? So he's two units tall and then his antenna stretches a little bit further. But for, for our purposes, his body height 
for overall is two units high. So there you go. Let's pull out. I don't need to pull out. I think we're okay into here. And let's take a look at what we've done uh, in terms of scaling. So we use scaling with an elevation at four feet, right? Here's the horizon line, which is also our eye level, which is in our elevation, which is at four feet. And again, our eyes are locked on that. We have our sky plane. We have our ground plane. We have Boba Fett at six units. So we set our units really in, right. And so we knew that four units tall was where the elevation line was. So wherever we demarcate where a figure is, four units tall will be up to uh, the, the elevation the, uh, of our, our elevation point. And of course we can go beyond that. So the, the, the trick is to make sure that you get equal spacing for your distances and then you can really control just about everything through that. Okay, let's go on to exercise four. I'll slow that down a little bit. Now we're gonna combine what we learned in exercises one, two, and three. We're gonna reference and use scaling together. We're gonna use Princess Leia and R2-D2 and we're gonna have them standing up and laying down and we're gonna have their scale and we're gonna reference them all over the place. So that's what's coming up next. Stay tuned. I'll be right back for exercise four. Here we have arrived now at exercise four. So we're gonna scale and we're gonna reference figures all over a bit, have a little bit more fun with it. So we're gonna use Princess Leia and we're gonna use R2-D2 a little bit and scale and reference them up. Okay, so what we wanna do now is establish our uh, elevation level, uh, our horizon line, and our eye level, and we'll do that with one simple horizontal line all the way across. And again, the elevation will be at three feet or three units tall. If you want to think of it that way if you're using the metric system. These, this is easily the same thing. I don't know the metric system because we, we just weren't taught it here in the U.S., unfortunately. And everybody else uses it except us, but that's a different, different uh, item. Um, so it can still work out. Just call it three units. I'm going to call it feet because I, we use feet. So our eye line is here. Here's our eye over here. There's a little eye coming out. So we're locked in at three feet, and this is also the horizon line, which separates the sky plane down below here from the ground plane as well. So here's our elevation, three feet tall. Now, Princess Leia is going to be five feet tall, and R2 is three feet five inches tall. I got those measurements from the uh, Star Wars database that you can find uh, online. It's really cool if you like that like that you kind of geeky and you like that stuff which i kind of am too as well so okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna say that we're gonna put leia about right here so i'm gonna make a mark right there so that's where uh leia number one is going to be standing and then we're going to put her vertically i'm just going to throw a vertical line up okay i don't know exactly where she's going to be up her head's going to be up here but i know her feet are going to be on the ground right here. So this is three feet elevation. Now she's five feet. So we need to, we need to find three, three units here and then transfer two up here. So here's how I do it. So we can say this is half right in through here. It separates one from the, actually a little bit, a little bit higher. So let me, let me make sure we get that right. Let me get my eraser out here out through here sorry about that let's make sure we get that really good and clean now you can measure this line whatever you get you get i like to do it without it just because it's not so tidy and clean things aren't always that neat and creative so that's half but i need a third so i'm thinking here and about right here puts me at nice neat thirds about right there and about right there so i'll come back and i'll race that down a little bit so you won't see that and so there's a unit there's a unit right there okay so now i have one unit two units three units now you can do this on a painting or a really fine drawing that you're doing a piece of finished art that you want just be really light with it i'm being a little bit darker and more crude and raw to get through the, the exercises faster but know that aesthetically you can be very very uh almost transparent with your marking and your measuring and you can do it on on um, 
finished pieces or pieces that you want finished, just draw very lightly and very, 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 very gingerly. It could be on paintings, it could be on engravings that you want, whatever. So now we've got demarcations here, right, of three units. So here's one. I'll transfer over. You know how to do this now. So we have one, two, three units of elevation. Now we need two more up here to get her at five feet. So there's another and there's another. And voila, we have four, we have five, and now we've found using our scale with our elevation at three feet. It's like finding you know, the middle part of the person the way we're doing it, the way I'm doing it. And there she is at on the ground and here she is up here at five feet. Let me move my head out of the way so you can really see her. So let me rough her in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing these a little bit more crudely and just leave it so I can go a little bit faster. I thought I was gonna do these a little bit more finished, but just to go a little bit faster, we can get, I can get videos done, I think, a little bit quicker for you too, mercifully. So we're gonna sketch her in a little rougher, so we're gonna have her head about right in through here, okay? And she's got that sort of those donuts on the side, so we'll have those in here and here. We'll give her her hair coming down. Just a simple eye line, nose line, right in through here. And then she's got that beautiful kind of robe on. This is the, the classic sort of Princess Leia from the, the earlier films in the 70s. And so we're gonna have her in a robe to keep her to keep it, our drawing really kind of simple. So shoulders out and through here, arms coming down flowy, in through here flowy, hands could be right in through here, and then her dress, her garment will come down and flow kind of in a bell shape, and then it's gonna wind up right down in through there. All right, so we've got her now roughed in. There she is, okay. Looking kind of dour there, but she's a serious lady. She's got to be right. All right, so there we have her. Now we have a five foot, let me get a little higher there. Now we have a five foot Princess Leia there. Okay, so now let's reference her back to um, a, a reference point. So let me make sure that our demarcations are really obvious. So one, two, three, four. Right, and then of course we need six because it's five here, so five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five spaces. Now she's five feet tall. Let's reference her back and put her back in space over here. So let's take her right in her garment. Can give her a little bit of extra pizzazz and shadow maybe. Just a little something to take the bite off being so stiff. So let's put a reference point, remember from exercise one and two, we're combining one, two, and three. So let's put a reference point here. It's like one point perspective. So there's a reference. Okay, I'll put reference one. And remember this from lecture number two, let's take her here from her top and her bottom ground line where she touches the ground. And let's place her about right here. Let's put Princess Leia right here. All right. How do we know she's five feet tall? Well, we know that in rule number one in perspective, all parallel lines in nature or artificial that are parallel and on the ground that are level will recede to one point, and that point can be on the horizon line, rule number two. So this distance, excuse me, this length will be the same here as it is here and so on. We can also take her units here. Our elevation is still at three feet back here, right? So there's three feet and here's a unit. We can take this unit and go back to our reference point. We can take this unit. Remember we did our stormtroopers like this. We can take that unit and we can take that unit back and now we have a better indication of where to put Princess Leia's features at too as well. And again, this can happen on a very fine piece of finished art, whether it's digital, you can do layers, you can use tracing paper, you can do it on a painting, you can use pieces of paper, little marks and graphite, whatever it takes to get 
the measurements that you need when you need to be really truly accurate and a lot of times you will so let's kind of rough her in here so her head is about right in through here just kind of a simple little little oval running through here with some donuts there she is back in through here okay and she's got a little garment to here a little little line for her her uh, eyes and her nose and mouth and through here and then let's get her garment coming through here hands are about right so we can see where to put all this since we have a better nice sense of scaling and then we'll come down ensure her dress will end and her feet will be covered up a little bit because of the, the garment about right in through here and there she is we've got her now back in space a good distance and she's retained her same height she her physics don't change her perspective from us and we're only at three feet high so we're probably about the size of Yoda's vision if you want to be uh, ac really accurate about it. or we could be sitting down in a chair um, or on our knees or on one one knee looking up whatever it is we're looking straight out our head is level to the ground and we're not tilted up or down that would be three-point perspective and we'd have to do something different for that okay so remember that we are in one point and our and or two-point perspective okay now let's take princess Leia and let's turn her uh, we'll keep her on the same plane of depth but we're, let's lay her down and then reference her out a little bit how do we do that I'll show you so let's take where she touches the ground right there where her feet would be and let's just draw a nice horizontal line over just like that okay we can take that now a really simple way to do that you could measure this line and bring that line from her from her foot to her head or what I like to do is just use a compass so I've got my compass over here really nice compass get yourself a really good one spend some money on a compass it will serve you if you take care of it for gosh a lifetime this is pretty new that kind of that's kind of an ironic statement since I have a new one but the old one was just too ratty for for television or for a YouTube channel all right so I've got her located from head from head the pencil end and then from the bottom here of on the pointy end on her uh, ground line where she touches the ground and then we're just going to transfer that arc right there and over right there she is I'll make it nice and dark so you can see that and so now her head will be over here right here so let's lay in lay in her so here she is laying down so she's taking a nap or maybe she's knocked out whatever it is but we're gonna put her head about right here okay keeping her shape and size and scale the same we're controlling her scale so there's a little nose there she is there there's her collar breast may be coming out just a little bit through there and then we'll put her robe on through here hand over here really crudely I'm not going to spend a lot of time and through here buttock and then over to her flowy dress right in through there so there she is now laying down at five five feet over and of course we could transfer all these little demarcations over too as well but the main point was to get her sitting down over into here all right so now we have her at five feet laying down what if we wanted to reference her and bring her really forward how would we do that well we can use it by reference point so let's say we want to put her somewhere over here but in front of this figure here how do we do that you know how to do that already by referencing so one point about referencing too I want to mention is composition and so what I can do before I even set out drawing I'm starting to think in my mind what angles do I want my reference point in my head in my toe point maybe I should do that in blue so you can really see it where do I want them to be so I can get her over here so I'm thinking feet her feet might be here would that be enough to get her head in so I've got to be really careful so I'm going to try to put a reference point I'm thinking about right here so I'm going to put a dot there in blue so you can see it nice and nice and strong there and so I'm thinking okay through her foot line from the reference point I line them up and I'll draw a convergence line or diminishment line here and then we've got the top of her head out through here see how far this is going to kick out even with that reference point there so I'll use that I'll come on over 
I'll come on over in through here and that's going to give us enough room. Now what we want, I can come back over and say, okay, I want her to be, because I, I can fit her in pretty comfortably all the way up till about right here and then she falls off by my smaller piece of paper. So let's put her then about right here so we have her right there. So I'll put a horizontal line that tells me where I want her at. Now what we could do, we could reference a little bit of her, the back, the, the where her neck is gonna be. So through that little point, I can come over to get really accurate. We can use our reference, since we're referencing, we can be accurate. So from kind of her, where her neck is gonna be, I can line that up, line up my reference point here, over to here, right there. There's her neck, where her waist would be, about right there, I'll make a little mark. Okay, you can see that and come on over right to there. There's kind of where her waist would be. And so we have some good marks where her hand would be right in through there. And so we have some placement for her, for her being. So let's lay her in now. So we're gonna recreate a five foot laying down layer right in through here. All right, so her neck would be through here. That means her head, her chin would be roughly, oh, right in through here. So we'll lay the back of her head in through here, we'll put her little nose here, and we'll put her hair, her little donut shape thing going on through here. I'll be really crude about it. So her chin and her jawline would be right in through there. Neck, collar, right in through there. And we come up a little bit, maybe breast forms would be right about peeking through a little bit, right in through there. And so we have her shoulder coming over all the way down to kind of where her robe would sort to come out and the hand would be maybe laying down about right in through here peeking through a little bit kind of long and then we can say okay the rest of this waist is going to be about right in through here i'll put some hair on the other side so we can really make it look like her. it's kind of like a ram ram horns running through right in through there, then we can come up, and then she can come over a little bit, and then her dress kind of flows over. The back and the buttocks can be in through here. Flowy dress. And maybe if we want, we can have her feet kind of emerge, maybe right in through here. Would be kind of like that, her, her leg would be up. We could see inside that, so we can get a little bit of that, and her, her dress would come over like that a little bit. All right, so we'll kind of just tone that in. And there she is now at five feet. So there she is five feet across here. And we brought her, and we used a reference point to bring her up closer to us, right in through there. So there's Princess Leia now at five feet. So we scaled her, then we referenced her over, then we turned her downward, and then we referenced her back towards us, now laying down. So there she is in, in four different positions. Of course, we could do the same thing if she was kind of leaning over. We could figure out how tall that was, scale it, and then reference it back in anywhere and move it over. This can be moved you know, quite quite far and quite distance up. We could, we could levitate her up to if we wanted. We could use that same position, levitate her up and then through to give her some depth. In distance as well. Okay, so let's do uh, an R2. Let me pull up an image here, and let's pull him. Let's let's put him over here, and then we'll reference him a little bit, and then and then turn him over to as well. So R2D2 is three feet five inches tall. So he's about three and a half units or three and a half feet tall in your composition. So if you're doing meters, he's at three and a half units or three and a half meters, I suppose. That might be it's probably bigger than three feet. So you'll have to do smaller units, but you can go by units or feet or meters. I just have to do it in feet. All right, then where do we want to place him? Let's place him about a little bit behind Leia and over here in our composition so we have room. So let's put R2, I'll put a nice, dark mark so you can see it. So we're going to put him on where he's standing. And of course, he always leans over a little bit, but maybe we'll have him kind of straight up just a little bit, kind of kind of facing us right on so where he's leaning back a little bit so that you don't see the angle as much. 
and we'll bring a line up from his ground line up a little bit higher, just where we need it, because he's gonna he's not gonna be that much taller than the elevation line. So R2, it, Leia, let's see, Leia was five feet. We'll mark her in over here. Leia was five feet. And R2 over here is going to be three. R2D2, three feet, five inches, which is almost three and a half, three and a half feet, right? So keep that in mind. All right, so let's get R2 measured in. So we need to, I'm gonna find half, or you can think about a third. So half is about right there. That's where I'm thinking, and then a third of that in and in, it's another unit. It's kind of like having this unit just bringing it down a little bit, so about right there and there and there. And then I'll kind of erase this out again. And then again, you could scale where you measured your first figure could be exactly kind of three units. You could use inches or you could use two inches for that, whatnot. There's many different ways to do that. All right, so. There's his mark, and here's our units. There's one unit, and there's two units. All right, so we have one, and I'll put it on this side, actually, since we'll draw that way. So there's one unit, there's two units, there's three units, and our, remember, our eye elevation is at three feet. So there we are. Now we need, we need half of that unit to put his height. And so we just come back over, use our piece of paper, scratch piece of paper, and we'll say, okay, here's a unit, and here's a full unit, so half of that is about right there. So there's a half unit. We'll just bring that half unit up, make a demarcation right there, make a little stronger line, and that's where R2-D2's full finished body will, his head will be right in through there. All right, so why don't we use blue then for our R2 figure. So let's do that. Let me sharpen up my pencil here. A little, whoops, it broke naturally. There we go. They keep breaking naturally. How about that? I'm not gonna cut, I'm just gonna get, get this until we get a sharp one. How about that? Almost there, so you can catch up if you need to. Remember, you can slow me down, you can speed me up, you can do whatever you need to to make it work the lesson work for you. Okay, so we've got R2 now. So let's draw him. Let's just rough him in pretty quickly. So here he is at three feet, five inches tall. Three feet, five inches. And we've got to go down just a little bit. I just caught an error, right? Did you catch my error? So we have to go down a little bit. So it's right there. It's three feet, five. What I drew was three feet, six right there. Sorry about that. So there he is there. And we'll get his little head roughed in right in through here there's where his curvature of his head part is and he comes down a little bit we're going to bring him in since he's right on with us here and here there's his curve right in through here okay and then we'll tighten that up a little bit i'll just use my ruler to tighten it up keep it really tight keep it fairly simple R2 there, okay, and over, and over there, and then we've got to we'll just put a few details right in through here. So he's just a little bit taller than our elevation, not by a whole lot, but just a little bit. Some detail in through here, just to finish this out really quickly. Okay, got that part and some. Some of the detailed stuff goes here. It's not that important. Here and here and over. You get the idea. Okay, so now let's put his leg leg apparatus. And it's about right here across. Keep this real simple. Make it really quick. Here, through, here and down and through there. And let's put his little legs down where they touch the ground here. This cool little, little triangular wedged looking things that come across and do that and through here okay there we go all right so we got him standing now at three feet 
five inches tall. About three feet five. He's not that much pushed back from Leia, just a little bit, maybe about half a foot or so. So there we go. So now let's reference him back to a point and put him back in space here. And so let's pick another referencing reference point. Let's put one here. So that's reference two. And since we have a scale here, we can drive it back to from the ground line where he's, where he's standing, sitting on the ground, and then from his headline, which is a little bit lower that blue line is, to the reference point right there, okay? And then we're gonna, we're gonna make one laying down. We don't need another one standing up. So let's make one laying down, but even further back here. So what we can do, how do we do that? Well, let's bring his full height over to there. So there he is standing. And remember, he's still three feet, five inches back here. Three feet, five inches from head to toe. So how do we do that? Again, we can just bring a line over like so. Then take our compass so we can get our, our accurate scaling. And then take our compass and we'll line it up. So I'll come back in here and we'll squeeze that in to where we need it. So lay it in like so, just a line and twirl over. You can do it like that if you want. I can show you like that. So it's about right there. It's good. So now we can take that, put the pointy end. Whoops, my pointy end fell. Let me put that back in. Always happens on camera. So if it falls off, it's okay. It just goes back in its slot like so. And then all you have to do is, is just tighten up that little wheel. No big deal. All right, so now we're good to go. So now we can place our our links over, I need to go a little bit longer. There we go. And now let's just transfer that height down to where it sits down, lays down, right there. Now where it touches, right here, that is where his head will be, right there. So feet or legs, wedges will be down here and the head will be here. So let's rough him in now, laying down. So let's take our blue, our blue pencil here and let's play him in. So here he is down below. Here's his head. Kind of curves over so his body does this. Like so. Kind of laying down there and we'll put his little top part in through there. The body kind of finishes up here and then we'll have a leg coming out like maybe a little, little bit higher, right? A little bit higher there with the wedges coming out like like so. So there we go. Now we have R2 laying down in perspective and we've used his scale from his front one, pulled him back by reference point, demarcated where we wanted him to stand, right, the ground, and then we just tilted him over. We could, we could put him in the act of falling. We could do a line where it's just leaning too as well. It doesn't have to be straight. We could do that as well. All right, there you go. So we combine exercises one, two, and three to create exercise four. We scaled, we found five units for Princess Leia. Then we pushed her back in space by using a reference point. And then we tilted her, her over by just transferring because she's not changing in depth by using a compass, finding her ground line and her height line from her head, tilted her over, then we used a reference point. We brought her through here. This was actually reference point two. I'll just put three here. We brought her over in fuller. We found her length here by two reference lines from her head and her foot. And then we found her features here. And then we did the same thing over here as with R2. We found where we wanted his feet to be, the wedges to be here, we knew that three feet was the elevation and we needed five more inches. Here was half and we had five inches here, so one under. And then we referenced him back in space where we wanted to put his height here, which is three feet, five inches. And then we just flipped him down and he's falling down too. He fell down too as well, or he's a sleeper. I don't know if he sleeps, but he's now on the ground. And there you go. Exercise for references, referencing and scaling figures. Let's go on now to exercise number five.